adventure hunting with Michelle. Buried deep in the jungle. Take me on a journey, queen. Buried deep in the jungles of the Philippines lies a secret that has lured treasure hunters for generations. During the Second World War, General Tomoyuki Yamashita... Yep, uh, we'll be doing music tomorrow as soon as I pass my test. When I pass my test tomorrow, we'll be doing a music stream. Millions of dollars in gold. Legend has it that when the war ended, Yamashita's gold was left behind, hidden away in a complex network of tunnels in the mountains of the Philippines. And that's what? where I'm headed now. This week, I will so be still could be a billion dollars worth of gold. Expedition into the jungle and believe they've discovered the tunnel that holds Yamashita's lost treasure. Do you what? This is not challenge accepted. You could still treasure Thanks hunt out of here for sponsoring this video. Oh no, this is crazy. This is crazy. Okay, chat. You find a treasure map. Are you searching for the treasure? Like, are you making that your life's goal? Or what? Like, I feel like you have to. Like, you find a treasure map, bro? You gotta search for the gold, dude. I didn't even know there were still people out here just searching for gold. I thought it was like, I thought it was like fake or something. Like, like they did it for movies, you know what I mean? Oh, this is gonna be lit. Southeast Asia because Ubisoft saw that sailing video we did a hobby treasure hunting decided what to is ask that us to come to Thailand to experience and promote their new game out right now skull and bones I don't think they realize that I'm not a gaming creator <laughs> I just don't understand how there's like how there was like a person out there that was like yo Let's put a cannonball on a tank and like use that and make it work. Like, I just don't understand how there was like brave enough people to get on a boat and then shoot it with cannons. Like, I, I just don't understand it. Ubisoft doesn't know is that we're gonna pirate the pirates. While they think we are here to experience the influencer event, we are actually going to take all of that brand deal money and use it to fund our own expedition through the jungles of the Philippines in search of Yamashita's gold. And if that sounds like gambling, you are correct. Apparently we're a pirate channel now, like which millions? is making Garrett very happy, and he wants to sail all of the seven what? seas before the end of this year. So be sure to subscribe, and maybe we'll just be on boats the rest of the year. <laughs> but we need to travel all the way to the Philippines, hunt for treasure, and get back, all before Ubisoft realizes we left, giving us only 48 hours to find Yamashita's gold. I mean, bro, even if I just found like a little nugget, I would be excited, right? As someone who has lived here for a long time, had you heard of this treasure before this project? Of course. It's very, very popular uh, in the world. Fixer. About this, uh, Yamashita treasure. Translator. Some what the hell? What is a fixer? come here, you know, invest and dig and dig and dig. We wouldn't know what's real and what's not. But if we want any chance at finding this treasure, we need to first narrow down our options. Okay. Because there are rumored to be over 170 possible treasure sites all across the Philippines. And so, I'm an expert in World War II tunnels who has agreed to show us his famous discovery. Hello, oh welcome God. to my Bomba I walked World in Museum. and was immediately distracted by a monkey? <laughs> Yeah, this is one of our museum mascots. I want you to meet officially Captain It Bruce. just hangs out there? Hi! Yeah, so yes, welcome. Welcome to my World War II Museum. A lot of fascinating history here. I put this museum uh, to honor my grandfather, my uncles, who fought and to preserve history. Oh my in God. War II, Americans that and was fire. side by side against the Japanese Imperial Army. But because of the Allied forces, <laughs> they got that ass kicked for it, you know, The Japanese were forced to come up with a clever solution. Between 1942 and 45, they built a sprawling network of over 2,000 tunnels all across the Philippines. Bro, it was crazy how they made these tunnels. Like, they literally were like, they would make like pockets in the tunnel that would go like down and up. So, like, if they tried to like throw explosives into the tunnel, they could just like, it would only destroy like a quarter of the tunnel, it wouldn't destroy all of it. 
or they would put like water on one end of the tunnel or like in the middle gaps of the tunnel to keep the freaking uh like so say if they like tried to gas them out of the tunnel it couldn't go through the big pockets of water so they would be safe behind the water they would just swim through a gap they even had tunnels that like led to dry land from inside the water so if you were in the water you could like swim in like i'm not gonna lie that that whoever came up with the with the whole tunnel system was genius like that was so genius if they were just able to hold out for longer i'm not gonna lie Vietnam, that vietnam probably would have been a bitch and if we didn't have flamethrowers if we didn't have flamethrowers it probably would have been they probably would have won that war no cap and eh, maybe nukes too <laughs> These tunnels not only provided shelter from aerial and artillery assaults, but also served as storage facilities for weapons, ammunition, and some even think... The finale is out? Oh, say less. Treasure. You already know we gotta pee. The tunnels we're talking about that are in these hills yep. are the ones that people theorize the treasure could be hidden. Right, is that you're correct? correct. But the question is, where is the gold? Well, that's a good question. Well, I have a book. It was written by a Japanese soldier in World War II. This is personal story here where he was talking about the gold treasures. What? Hidden. Do you believe in the treasure? I'm an historian. Okay, I do research more scientifically, but I cannot ignore this. Come on. Here. He said it's, look hey, it's looking like it, bro. Set diamond rings, yep. jeweled rings, gold necklaces, bracelets, gold and bars. gold bars. It's a personal memoirs, so who might question this authenticity of the story of a Japanese soldiers who had taken part personally in burying those treasures, right? Yeah. I think we need to go see this tunnel. Hey, I'm so down. The only surviving Japanese naval air fleet headquarters in the whole Philippines. Here, right around here. What? Right this is the only one? Standing. So this is the entrance Whoa. of the tunnel. Oh my God. This is where Admiral Onishi stayed. So this is the Onishi How How is that still that stayed yeah. like that this whole time? Discovered. Yeah, I got that information provided to me by my friend, one of the staff of Admiral Onishi, the Japanese troops. What was that? What was that? There's a... The oh. bat? You can see that? What? It's a what? nest. A, a nest? Yeah. Oh, there are, ro <laughs> there, there are definitely roaches on the side yeah. of the Oh! There's a bug. There's a bug. There's a really big bug. <laughs> ah! This is going to be my job in the future. Hey, that's going to be lit, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to lie. After right. I saw the caves, the I'm good now. I'll do like the treasure hunting where it's like you're in an open field. In fact, uh, just like excavating bones. You know what I mean? I'll do that. A tunnel as big like this. You yeah. found a bomb. I found the bomb, aerial bomb. So, yes. You know, uh, next month I'm actually doing a video where I am. I'm not a going in the tunnel. Oh, that's cool. We really should have done that video. <laughs> this one. Yeah. What are some significant markers of a Japanese tunnel? You know, these uh, nails, big nails, they stuck on the ceiling and on the wall. Oh, but, I see. Yeah. yeah. So you're saying that some treasure hunters claim yes. that these nails yeah, signify yeah. the japanese yeah right here. yeah as we go along you could see oh my god there's literally a roach just right the there chilling on the wall constructed manually you could see oh see my the, god i would have been on a know, killing spree in there the, the axe and the picks direction in constructing these tunnels so we're looking for yeah. the oh. axe cuts yeah and we're also looking for yeah. the nails yeah sure what I'm not looking for is those bugs. Let me tell you. <laughs> not looking for the bugs. Really? Can't they just like have shoot some bug repellent down there or something? The like bomb the tunnel, Island. maybe? And so we're planning to meet up with a legendary treasure hunter who has recently oh, gained shit, he got the gear. To a family land that he believes may be the key to finding Yamashita's treasure. If we do this, we're taking on a risk of going up a mountain with no cell service that no one has been to in months nah. and we pray that it's not flooded and that we don't die nah is that right no 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 let me also ask has henry Hell found nah. anything at this site before uh i think he found a bomb why did they just say that so chill <laughs> nigga a bomb <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? He found a bomb? What you're talking about here is that, like, the Japanese left 
explosives and booby traps behind to protect these items, right? So you're saying that he found a, a uh, like an unexploded ordinance could be a clue implying that beyond where that explosive was is more treasure, yeah? Yes, definitely. This sucks. Definitely. This weaponry is very, 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 very vital in this in this part of hunting because it's the only way who can access that. And so it was finally oh, time heck no. to meet the third and can final Can he take a camera and like put it on his shoulder? A hunt. chicken? Oh. I was... Hello? Oh. Henry, hi! <laughs> Hello, Mom. How are you? Henry Rojas has been treasure hunting for over 50 years. And Jesus he believes Christ. that our expedition tomorrow might be the one to finally find Yamashita's treasure. So this was found very close to where we're going tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. And it is the most valuable piece of evidence yes, that's been found. Yes, ma'am. You and can see this one. It's a four-star general. One, oh, wow. two, three, four. And the four-star oh, wow. generals or people of high-ranking officials would be the ones using this, but would they also be the people who would negotiate where gold would flow through the tunnels? Of course, of course ma'am. Especially General Tomoyoki Yamashita. So then by that logic, if we can find where the high-ranking officials were, we may be a little bit closer to where the treasure yes. is. Yes, and we will go that by tomorrow. Wait, but so- But refused to take us into the jungle until we listened to his warning. Wait, but check. Oh out. my God. The collection of my dad, the late Rogelio Rojas. So who, who was your dad? My dad oh, that's is insane. the late Rogelio Rojas, who found the golden Buddha. In Wait, okay. He found the golden Buddha? Wait a second, chat. So is it a thing to where, like, if you find the treasure, do you get to keep it? Or is there, like, some weird thing where, like, if you find it on somebody else's land, they own it? Or, like, you got to split it? Like, how does that work? Henry's father claimed that a World War II era map given to him by a Japanese soldier helped him find a small portion of Yamashita's treasure. Bro, Which Kage, that would be bars, insane. Jewels. It belongs in a museum. A giant golden Buddha yeah, but what's the statue? museum gonna do with it? But make money off year, of it. I might as well make some money off of it. All what of the gold, including the Buddha, was seized by the then president and dictator, Ferdinand Marcos. And not only was wow. Henry's father imprisoned, but after his release, died of suspicious circumstances. They killed my dad so that there is no witness. The government? <laughs> uh yes. What? The government. Wow. They killed all the 21, including my dad. They all dead already. Wow. It's too hard to be a treasure hunter in the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> because and yet they choose to the still do it? What might happen if you find something? Yes, ma'am. They will confiscate all the gold that you found. That's why uh, other treasure hunters, they're not uh, saying we found something. It's better to keep your mouths. <laughs> It's hard to know what to take from the story, but out of everyone we've talked to, Henry has been treasure hunting the longest for 50 years. And he himself is in these pictures with the Golden Buddha. I would say this is probably the best evidence that we have thus far for what we're looking for. Nah, his dad so tomorrow, was fucking tomorrow it's very you hard. How old I bring almost was? 22, maybe 24 manpower uh, so that you're safe. Uh, yeah. Safe from what? Uh, safe. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'll, we'll talk later. <laughs> what? Okay. Wait a second. Place. You didn't tell me I had to bring and, security. Uh, we'll pray for that place. What does that mean? So it's 3.30 in the morning. We are currently following two vans that Henry is leading into the jungle. We're not At allowed to really know where we're going or say where we're going. Just like all of these bodyguards and men imply that gold has to be found, but he's never actually reported it because the government would confiscate it just like they did with his father. Question is, where do he get his money from? The environment has changed significantly. That's a big question. These little hillside towns. I just feel us getting closer and closer to the mountain. I think the only issue is that we keep getting lost. He knows some but secrets that his dad knew. The only sure. issue. Not only 
were the roads too narrow for our van, but our van overheated on the steepest incline of the journey. What? Overheat. The car is overheating. Do we leave our stuff in the car? We're abandoning the car. The hike has already begun. Too old for this. Just getting to the tunnel I'm with is a you. journey in and of itself. We're transitioning to the Tura Turas, which are the Jeeps that are going to take us up the rest of the way. Oh, it's like a bigger version of a tuk tuk. cannot go any further. You think, you, so you don't think the government's paying him? You think there's like underworld niggas, like some like crazy, like Filipino billionaire that like wants to find the treasure so he can like keep it in his like private it's collection? Five hour car ride. And now we have a two hour ride in whatever this is. Do they just know create a car? What is that? This tunnel to begin with, because we are so far out here. Oh, how are you just like video? <sighs> this is like regular life for these people. This is insane. I just kept imagining there was going to be like a pyramid in the distance Henry, or something. Why do you think the Japanese were here? because they uh, hide something inside the tunnel. Wait, no but sleeves? But how do you know this is a Japanese tunnel? I will call Kajoe and he will be the one to explain it to you. Kajoe! They probably have pyramids in, in the Philippines. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Ha, huh, suck my dick, I found him. I am your ruler. Everything I say is correct. At saka Korean. Nagpunta tayo, hinahanap itong area na ito. Na... It wouldn't surprise me here about expeditions being sponsored by billionaires. Facts. Golly, where is this damn place? Po ito. Sabi nila, ito na nga. Pinakita sa akin yun. Hear the waterfall? Okay. Gosh, Henry, I can't believe we're finally here. <laughs> it took 12 hours just to get to this spot in the jungle. I cannot wait to see. Wow. What? Is this it? Henry. Yes. Uh, why is it covered? Uh, Kajowi, na landslide ba yan o tinabunan niyo? Landslide? Okay. landslide? There was a landslide? Yeah. So is this a man-made or a natural tunnel? Man. How do you know it's man-made? May release to, ma'am. Ito po yung release. May release to. Meron mga crap dyan. Meron sa apat na bagon dyan. During World War II, the Japanese Imperial Army Jesus used Christ, they to transport the Japanese. their troops and supplies throughout the mountains. So finding a piece of rail by the entrance of the tunnel is incredibly promising. And they actually built a trail here, like a train truck. So these are this, clues yeah, here. Yeah. Part of it. This old steel. All I see is rocks. Well, can we see the tunnel? And yeah. how, how much progress has been made? Uh, Bro, ano, mga ilan? Mami yung tubig. Oh, we have to let the water pass. The water? Oh my god. That's a big tunnel. Oh, yeah. What? Do you see that? Where does the water go? Henry. Yes, ma'am. So I'm looking in here and I see that there's a long pipe. Yes. Did you put that there? No pipe inside, ma'am. Do you see what I'm seeing, girl? It's a straight piece of metal. Yeah, it's a railroad. It looks too round Something to like be a this. railroad. Oh. Man-made pipe. Same with that, sir. No, it's round. It's round? Yeah. Later on, they will uh, open the tunnel and the water will come out. And then suddenly, we'll go inside to look at the rooms inside. The man who led us here, the man who heard the story Wait, so they just know? Like, about the location of this tunnel next a to a waterfall and the riches inside. Part of me doesn't believe it. But then the other part of me is curious because I have no idea how anyone would have found this tunnel and they only knew to excavate and uncover the earth because of the story. So it's hard to say. We've been digging for like three hours and only half of it's drained. 
While we are getting closer and closer Taking to for three time, hours? Sundown is rapidly approaching. And these jungles are far too dangerous to get caught in at night. Wait, no, so coming. what do you no, do? Coming. Here it comes. Okay, here it comes. Let's get this guy. That's a lot more water than this I thought crazy. it was. We literally thought there was like no hope to get in this tunnel, and now suddenly it's just flowing like a river. I see the water line coming down really fast. Are we gonna get in this tunnel? Jesus Christ, hopefully it doesn't rain. Goes back quite far. People that like cave dive, bro, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. All right, check this like, out. Like, how do these people exist? This is the cave. I have no idea if this would be man-made or not. It almost feels too perfect to be naturally occurring. And also check out that pipe. And there's another pipe in the back there. I don't know if those were put by prior hunters or by the original creators hunters. of the tunnel. This is pretty nuts. Yesterday, Maybe somebody has like a sump pump down there. To look out for to see if something is a Japanese made tunnel. And the two points were the pickaxe patterns in the sides of the wall, as well as long, rusty nails. Right now, I mean, I'm just looking in here. I don't see any nails. Okay. Do you see these markings here? I, I can't tell if they're yeah, natural or pickaxe, but this wouldn't be pickaxe. This is too solid rock. Because we can't visually see any nails, we're gonna try to use Ooh, a metal scope. detector to see oh. if we can pick up a signal. All right, should we go in? Looks totally different. So the water has come down pretty significantly, but still not really enough. Oh, got right something here, right here, right? I don't know if I believe that. Yeah, it's beeping right here. It's something. Maybe that's just where the pipe is? I don't see anything. So yeah, we're getting a, a metal reading, but we're not finding anything. And we still don't see the nails that Ronnie said we should look for. Although we're getting a signal, it would take another few hours of digging to actually reach the object. Jesus! And with the sun setting in less than five minutes, this is we so need long. to decide if we're gonna keep digging or start to head back. Dang. I don't think we can go in there. Yeah. Henry, I don't think it's gonna work. I think we have to go Hold home. Out. Okay. Honestly, I can't wait to be in Thailand because I know the Ubisoft event is gonna be significantly more fun than this was. Alma, get out of the car. No, seriously, it'll roll back the tension. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. The dish up, it's like, it's all going back down, so it, it, it's not reaching the machine. Okay. What the heck? So we're kind of stuck. So the, the Turo Turo cannot operate because it's on such a steep incline that all the gasoline inside fell to the back and can't ignite to start the vehicle. What? So here we are on foot in the jungle. This is not great. Alma, do you have any idea how to get back? Two hours walk. I will say I I'm, really never I'm never going. I'm never going. What the? Being a pirate in the game Skull and Bones. Nigga, where? Whatever is going on. Ain't nobody right fill now? up the truck. Hey, can we just take a quick check? Do we have water? How much water do we have? Do we have any water? Well, it's only two hours, so. Okay, so we're at the point where we really do need to think critically about water conservation. We it's only two hours. What do we? And only one bottle of water. I what started to get increasingly more concerned. Yeah, but it's only two. It's only a two-hour walk. To avoid the potential wild boar as well as venomous snakes and scorpions that could be in the brush. But even the road itself was proving to be dangerous. The hell is that? That hole goes so far down. <laughs> is she laughing? Yeah. 
Yeah, let's rest these. It was a bad fall. It's bad. I'm okay. This is crazy, Om. I know. It is. It Are is. we gonna get home safe? Yes. Just trust. It's just the universe. We are gonna get home safe. I hear a bike. Well, that can't be safe. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Michelle, please don't scare me like this. Okay. He knows me. Ah. Lucky for us, the man on the motorcycle was someone we had met earlier today. And he and his friends agreed to guide us back to safety. What now, were they we doing? Just riding around? Yamashita's treasure. But what if I told you that was never the real goal of this video at all? What? The year is 2020. I make a video where I train like a professional gamer and compete in a tournament against a bunch of pros. And in this video, I fail my final challenge. Exactly one year later, I make a video where I train like a chess grandmaster and compete in a tournament against, you guessed it, gamers. Once again, I failed my final challenge. So when Ubisoft reached out and invited me to a treasure hunting competition against gaming creators, I knew what I had to do. For the past year, I have been secretly training in all things sailing, Get the investigation, fuck out of here. and this week, treasure hunting, so that I can once and for all avenge myself against these damn she gamers. She just this crazy. First, we were drafted into two teams. I know how to zero zero with a knot hey, hey, well, that's so easy yeah you know what me. come on and we'll come. thankfully my time learning knots with a russian sea captain earlier this year prepared me for this exact moment we then set sail to compete for hidden clues spread across a deserted island and this island was huge this is nuts if i learned anything from my time at csi academy is that you can always cover more ground with a partner yo drew have you guys found any of these clues yet? Did you find any? Yeah, How big is it? It's like... It's oh, it's big. pretty big. And okay. so it's like a knot piece with the X on it. For hours, we scoured the island's jungles, beaches, and caves. And having spent all of yesterday in a cave, that's where I took my chances. Literally in a cave in Thailand? Oh my god, I see it. I think that's it. Can you see that? I got it! Oh, heck we were told no. that these a clues would reveal bottle? the locations of 10 actual emeralds hidden across an even bigger island. And the creator who finds those emeralds wins. So that's where we're headed next. Not only did the other team try to throw me off my game by introducing me to what? a parrot, knowing I have a fear of birds. I don't like you when it looks at me. No, nah, <laughs> fear of birds is crazy. Can I hand it back? Oh. But we were okay, also interrupted with a full-scale ship battle. Having loaded a cannon or two in my time, I made quick work of the other team's ship, Fire! giving us a small head start on the final island. It was a mad Oh, no, I gotta do that. All ten of us ran off into the jungle. And after grinding what? in the Philippines all week, I refused to leave this island without treasure in my hands. This is the picture that our captain showed us, and there was a shrub oh, like a... and the house and a big tree. Whoa. And that's when I realized Can anybody the do environment that? in front of me was the exact same image I saw drawn on one of the clues. I see it, I see it, yes. If people are coming, I'm gonna tell them I didn't find anything. That's what a pirate would do. And my newfound treasure that means she not lying. ultimately led me to not one, but two of the 10 emeralds. I found it! I mean, treasure hunting all week. How much do you think that it's little no baby emerald gold, is worth? But my God, does it feel good to find something? If I learned anything this week, it's that actual treasure hunting is grueling hard work. And maybe for once, it's okay for me to chill out and play the gamified fantasy version instead. Because at the end of the day, I was sitting Gotta atop be. the leaderboard with the most emeralds found, finally proving myself against these gamers. If you want to play your own fantasy Let's go on the show. Me, download Skull and Bones available now. And thank you so much to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. I be telling y'all boys, man, if anybody gonna do it, Michelle gonna do it. If anybody in this world gonna do it, Michelle gonna do it, okay?